Kim Seong, thank you for agreeing to this interview. No, no, it's my pleasure. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm gonna ask you some questions. I mm-hmm. hope you can uh, at least give us an idea to your writing. Mm-hmm. Um, when do you actually start to write? Mm-hmm. Mm, actually, everyone's has been writing once in a while, even in their so-called duration or during the time in school. You know, it's just that when you begin to feel that you, you really have some flair in writing or really the interest in writing. So actually my interest in writing begins way back in my JC time. When I, 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 it just comes of a, a process where you a self-discovery, when you find that hey, actually writing to you is an enjoyable process or in fact you no, know, uh, the product of your of your writing actually uh, receive much more appreciation than than others. Then you start to to realize it's a uh, process of realization that you feel that you no, know, this is something that you really like. And and until to my J uh, university time, actually, then I slowly discovered okay, writing is something that I will bring with me throughout my life. That means I it's part of me. No, it, there's a decision or, or you, uh, something that you, you tell yourself. No, uh, I won't stop even if I finish my so-called academic uh, times. No, I I will continue writing. There may be some period of time that I may slow down. Mm-hmm. Some period of time that I may uh, just uh, speed up. No, with, with, with more uh, more writings come out. But but it will be with me throughout. Mm-hmm. So that 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 realization actually comes uh, during my so-called university time. Maybe at the age of around. Uh, 20, 21, 22, that, that, at yeah. that stage. That so I, this was in the mid 90s? Like. Yeah, correct. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, when you were writing then, were there particular topics you were interested in? Mm-hmm. Uh, and my interest actually keeps changing right. because writing uh, no, it, it will be very boring right. and, and you, you are actually limiting yourself mm. if you are just stick to one. Uh, and literature comes in a lot of form. You, know, you have uh, poetry, uh, fiction, non-fiction, all that, and, and there's a. Uh, to me, what are the areas or the content or the uh, things that actually I'm interested in writing? I mean, I mean, I, I like to write something that really touches people you know, and allows people to have the, uh, to to have a new perspective of certain certain things, and and maybe, uh, is writing is also a, a way to express yourself or express your creativity. No, or, or you put it uh, uh, in a blunt way to show off your your creativity. In, in a, you know. but, but what about your own earliest attempt? Mm-hmm. When you first started off, uh, was it because of um, wanting to show your friends your ideas or was it was there particular issues that you were interested in? Mm-hmm. When you started writing, in, uh, let's say, um, in uh, university time, mm-hmm. uh, 90s, mm-hmm. what, what was it like? What, do you do essays, poetry? Okay, uh, mostly essays. Mm-hmm. Okay, poetry is a, is a much later in part in my in my uh, so called in my uh, time in writing. So I started writing because um, you know, if you look at my background, actually I I came from a uh, English speaking uh, background school. I mean, I from Saint Andrews, right. from primary to secondary. So when I later on went to JC time, I mean, uh, uh, I was put together with all those uh, Chinese speaking except schools then. And, and, and somehow they, they, they got a, a feeling that you, know, you are actually, I, I want to prove that you know, people from uh, 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 English uh, background yes. school uh, yeah, can do as well as, as people from the Chinese environment. So actually I, I tried very hard then you know, just to uh, make sure myself you know, able to keep up with the rest of the community I'm with at that time. Mm-hmm. So at that time it's a, it's a way of uh, pushing yourself and, and able to uh, to catch up or to meet up with these people. Right. Uh, but what were some of your memories when you were writing in FASS? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, in, in FASS, in fact, I, I took up uh, Chinese studies and Chinese yes. language and double Chinese in, in during my time in uh, FASS. And uh, that there's a lot of uh, uh, opportunity uh, other than the, those uh, papers, uh, we have uh, some topics. That, I mean, two in very particular. I, I, I actually like one is we call it the the rewriting of certain uh, those uh, more um, uh, past uh, poetry or even uh, the, those uh, olden li- literature of the the the, the earlier literature la, maybe, Yeah. So we have to rewrite. You know, based on the words. You no, know, they they maybe have a. a 
one or two hundred uh, words kind of a passage. So you write it into a thousand, two thousand words kind of a passage, and, and and it's very challenging because y you want to break away from what the original content. You know, yet maybe you just uh, maintain some of his uh, main ideas, right. but you have to show off your creativity. -ness. It's, it's mm. a creative writing class. Yeah, it's a creative writing class oh, within. So I thought it was very interesting, oh. uh, and there's also other. Uh, other subjects, uh, items that whereby you, you they give you some topics and, and you just uh, uh, write, express yourself on it. So these are the, the, the subjects. I mean, my time then uh, you know, to have opportunity to write. Were there other fellow writers around your age at the time also? Yeah? Uh, Exploring writing, wanting to be uh, part of the writing community, people that you can uh, share your reading, writing with. Mm -hmm. Were there such people? Okay, there, there were every, every, every part of my life, I mean even from primary, secondary, there are always uh, friends who are also interested in writing. But uh, writing, I thought, I mean maybe I'd like to, to elaborate more on this portion. I mean, it's always uh, uh, something I felt very uh, pitiful, I mean not pitiful, how should I express it? Very uh, uncursy, la. okay, something, something because, and it, Every part of my life, I, I, I have friends who actually have a flair in writing, mm. have a talent in writing. Mm. And some, I, I feel that maybe they, they, they write better than me. Mm. But the main thing is, they, over the time, they drop out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because writing is really not something... It's also about endurance, right? Yeah, it's something about endurance. Mm. No, that, that's why I told you, you no know, decision came when, when I'm in university yes. that I decide to bring writing with me throughout my life. I mean, if not a lot of people, you know, after their school time, academic yeah. time, I mean, that's it, you know. That's yeah. the end of the, yeah. their relation with writing, yeah. even though they are good at it, or even though they are much better, they have a talent in it, because uh, they have to be busy with their other part of their life, you know, maybe their family, their and career. And the things more interesting to do. Yeah, more interesting or more rewarding, probably, uh, in terms of monetary sense. We have to come to this point also. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I think so, so... I mean, these people, if they maintain and, and keep on the track and keep on going, I thought Singapore literature scene will be much, mm. much wonderful, much, uh, I mean, much more products and better, uh, better literature from Singapore. But, but a lot of them, in the end, they, I mean, they didn't carry on, uh, I mean, right. put it this way. Uh. But what you're also suggesting is that writing is a kind of calling. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, it's not just that you're able to write well, mm -hmm. but you must have this inner calling uh, to be a writer, to pursue this for a lifetime. For a lifetime. And, and it, it's like, a, uh, well, I always say, it's just like a marathon. No? Mm -hmm. it, even if you, if you win or, or you're, you're leading in the first 500 or 800, it, does, it, it don't prove anything because to, you can write a piece of work maybe, in, throughout your life, you may have a one piece, but to able to be consistently writing and producing mm. works that actually worth reading, mm. uh, that is the challenge. That is the real challenge. Whether you are able to sustain that, and, and I thought writing that is part of writing as well. Right. You know, to come up with works consistently, then you you are worth worthy of calling yourself a writer. Is it to be able to consistently coming up with uh, quality works? Right. Uh -huh. But why? why so, so why is uh, literature so important to you? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I know it's a, it's a big question, <laughs> but uh, you seem to suggest that there is something worthwhile uh -huh. which maybe other people may not see uh, in pursuing the writing path. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I, I don't have a very big uh, calling, a big, big terms to it. To me, is uh, you, you must love it. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's come natural. You know, if you force yourself, uh, I mean, there's no meaning in, in doing it because it, you won't get rich you know, if you call it in, in literature. That's probably in Singapore at least. Okay, so y you have to go beyond uh, a calling. Y you really got to uh, love, you know, uh, write, have the the passion in writing. Right. And if you ask me why there is a passion in writing, that's uh, other than I can say it comes natural. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe you f you find yourself a place, mm -hmm. uh, a position in it like, because everyone has a a place in somewhere in your life. Maybe your, your place is in, in computers, in programming, in architect, in engineer. Mm -hmm. So everyone is searching for that place in his life. Mm -hmm. Where is he standing? Mm -hmm. 
or any part of his life. And to me, you know, through, uh, after all these years of, uh, I mean, uh, whatever direction you, you, you try out, and, and to me, I, I, I personally feel that uh, literature is somewhere, uh, part of my life, at where, where it's, there's always a place for me uh, in it. When I, I'm in the scene of literature, I'm writing, or be it I'm discussing, or I'm reading a literature, I, I really enjoy it. It, it, it comes naturally. I, I enjoy writing. I enjoy reading a, a very good piece of, of uh, poetry or a good piece of essay. Mm -hmm. So I, you realize, okay, this slowly you find, oh, this is where you belongs to, or, or this belongs to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, that is literature I, I find myself in. I mean, I feel happy, I feel content, I feel satisfied, I feel appreciated. Mm. Yeah. That and and right. this place is a place in society, right? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, yes, you, you can call it part of the society if you want. Ah, but okay, it's a, a place in your own, own, own self. Your own self, you know, yeah. Where your center is. Yes, correct. Right, right. Mm. Yeah. As for um, your place in society, mm -hmm. let's say, um, what do you feel uh, your responsibility is as a writer? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that, that that changes how you write, what you write about? Mm -hmm. Okay, as for the relationship between the literature and society, oh, this is a very complicated, uh, I, I, to me, la, I mean, does, does literature really have to service or to do something for the society? So, uh, okay, the fact that the work, the piece of work, if you term it as literature, it, it already means something. It's just like a uh, drawing. No, if it's a artist, uh, it's a good painting. Okay, uh, it does have a. a uh, it's it's not as simple as any drawings or a, any artwork you do in school. You see, just as literature. No, it's not a a piece where you write. You know, maybe your diary, uh, a part of your diary, or something. It's really a piece of uh, a work that comes with creativity, comes with beauty, comes with, uh, I mean, uh, appreciation and, and, and uh, the, all the, the elements of a literature. And what is a literature do? To me, uh, literature is the same, just as I said, painting. It, it gives you uh, beauty, mm. a sense of beauty. You, you, after reading it, you, know, you feel good, you, know, you, feel the, the create, you can see the creativity in, in it. You know, that, that's the Beauty, you know, just like art. You know. What can an art do to us? Or a painting do to a society? It won't change the society at all. But the painting itself, you know, just by appreciating it, you know, just by it, it brings you, it keeps you uh, just a, a very subtle kind of uh, uh, enjoyment when, when you look at it. But I thought literature is something more than that because literature is not that abstract as a uh, 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 painting. It, it, there's a lot of words right. and which have a lot of interaction, yes. communication with the readers. Mm -hmm. So other than, so I thought literature, there's two parts of it. I mean, if you read the poetry, maybe poetry, some, a lot of uh, things that may not uh, tell you, I mean, very clearly what it is, but at least it, it gives you the beauty. So that's mm -hmm. a beauty part of it. But if you're reading an essay, apart from the, the, the beauty of the creativity or the, the artistic, the literature in, in it, uh, it, it comes with words which communicates, which tells you something, which touches your heart maybe, uh, will, will give you a new perspective on certain areas, okay, uh, uh, let you learn something from it. So that there are two parts of literature that it really do. So whichever it is, you know, I thought if a, a, a literature contribute to do this, these two areas, which comes with uh, uh, appreciation of beauty and, and uh, uh, communication of uh, of your your mind and so uh, I thought that that is something that actually uh, a society needs because right. in, in society not just talking about GDP yes. uh, uh, improvement of uh, uh, infrastructure mm. you know, uh, good uh, education system uh, you no know, good environment it, it mm. and when it comes to the very end is what is the heart of, of what does your, your the content of your med, your people has, you know, the people living there, or, or they just cares about what they care about, you see, mm. what they concern, what, or, or they just bother by, by all these uh, mm, practicals. Uh, I mean, um, about earning more, getting more income, or, or what they concern. 
see. So this is where literature kicks in, I thought. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so do you think that as in Singapore's case, we have under-focused on this aspect of life? Very much under-focused. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I thought there's a stage whereby we are not there yet. Right. Okay, because I mean, for my personal opinion, I mean, we improve very fast, but not in the, uh, the so-called... Uh, what, 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 what we advance is very much the, uh, material, uh, the material aspect. Mm -hmm. I, mean, uh, no, the, the, I mean, the income right. goes up very fast. The, uh, all the uh, development goes up very fast. But about the um, cultivation, cultivation or, or all these people, are they able to catch up, go as mm -hmm. fast as mm -hmm. those developed countries? No? The uh, emotional quality is not there. Yeah, I thought that is what literature should be uh, playing a major part in. Uh, mm. But uh, we, we are not there yet. La. I mean, I, I, and I understand it's not easy. La. I mean, uh, you can pump me a lot of money to do certain things, but when you talk about literature, it's, it's not only uh, concerns about money. Concern, yeah, it's totally different. So do you feel underappreciated in Singapore? Mm, definitely. I, I thought definitely. Very Does much. that affect your writing? Uh, not not really. I thought. Uh, okay, let's put it this way. How, why? I mean. Uh, because some writers, it, it, it does mm -hmm. clearly. I mean, uh, Correct. they feel that they are not appreciated. They either stop, or their writing gets more cynical. Yes. Okay. Uh, what I thought the the, the, the support and recognition uh, is lacking very much. It's not only to writers. It's in fact the whole industry. The literature industry. And it's across language as well. Correct. You, you talk about what what were we talking about? Publisher, right. I mean, no, I don't think publisher is a very well uh, so-called, I mean, I talk about uh, literature's uh, mm. publisher, la, la, not, not talking about those, uh, those popular uh, Writing. writings. La. But it's all the literature, I mean, they, they... Because it doesn't bring in the money. It doesn't bring in, so they got the lowest priority of all. Mm. In, in terms of, uh, I mean, uh, I, and back to my gender, the Chinese, okay, yes. I mean, in fact, in Singapore, okay, already there is it's not a, a uni language uh, society, so y your readers have to share among the the four right. four languages. You no, know. right. uh, that that itself is different from Taiwan or that's I mean right. in, in the, China. The, the the monolingual. Monolingual. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean they, they, they have the whole lot of people supporting, right. but we we have to share, and and also the Chinese uh, background in Singapore. I mean, uh, for the past few. Uh, Decades, I mean, the, the, the English have been the, the more mm. uh, so domineering uh, language mm. widely used. Mm. And, and look at the, uh, and what causes it right now. I mean, even look at papers, I and mean then for, for newspaper itself, the straight time is, is twice the, the readership of uh, the, the mm. Taobao. I mean, that, that is the reading habit of people. And in terms of uh, spending habit, it's the same. Mm. I mean, a, a, a Chinese uh, literature books, I mean, it, it just costs maybe. Around fifteen dollars. I mean, anything more than that, people feel is it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So, so I, the habit is is there and it, it sinks in. And I can I can see that in recent years it may not also improve because uh, recent immigrants are more likely to read uh, China Chinese writers as opposed to Singaporean Chinese writers. Yes, correct. E even if you want to expand, I mean, you go international. Right. I mean, I mean, people will think. That, I mean, if I want to 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 look at literature mm. uh, globally. I mean, wh why should I read uh, uh, writers from a small right. southern country, you know? Mm. I mean, if, if I were to... Man, there's thousands of books in the market. That's right. If I were want to read, uh, I, I mean, get the best writers mm. or the more famous uh, mm. established writers in, in, in China or, or even yeah. Taiwan, Taiwan. And, 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 not, and not Singapore. Yeah, and, and, and if they want to look into the literature of Singapore, they tend to look at the English writing as yeah. opposed to the Chinese or Correct. the Tamil. Yeah, so, so it, we are in a uh, uh, so-called, I, I don't know whether to call it difficult position, but, uh, but it's really not easy. But, uh, but, oh, so, but always we, we come back. So why are we doing all this, you know, despite all these uh, uh, adverse uh, I mean conditions that, that we are in? But, but we always think that, uh, I mean, if you're in literature, you won't be thinking that uh, you become. You won't be a very pragmatic person, really. I mean, you won't. Everything you must calculate. No, uh, you won't calculate your time versus the the 
payback you're gonna have or the the, the rewards you're gonna get. Uh, if you if you are doing that, you probably won't be writing mm -hmm. in Singapore. Uh, that's what I thought. So writers in Singapore normally usually are those that, that don't really calculate that much in, in, right. in terms of uh, all these areas. Uh. When I look at your writing, at least those that have been translated to English, mm -hmm. um, they are, the content is very strong. The themes are also quite specific. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether this is often the areas you're focused on, mm -hmm. but you seem to be very uh, locked onto, uh, onto the place. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to talk about nationhood and questions about it. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to say something about that? Okay, that is those, uh, probably the, the, those, they are part of my writing. Yes. Not, not all oh. of them mm. are, 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 like this. are like this. But I, because I, I, there's a series of writing actually I, I have in, in my so-called uh, writing schedule and plans that I mean you would like to, I don't know whether the other writers feel the same, you write to write something for your nation, for your country, for, uh, for your history. Uh, that's maybe, uh, I don't know whether some writers may have the, the same thing. write for the future. The, the past and the future. Mm. I mean, in fact, if you write the past, maybe it's actually most of the time is to use the past as an a indicator for the future. Mm. I mean, I, I don't think writers want to just dwell on, yes. on, on the past, but using the past as a, a mirror mm. to give you, the, uh, to point to your uh, direction, what the, the future may be. That so what is this direction for you? Mm -hmm. What is it you want to preserve uh, about um, your reflection? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if you look look at my, my the, the series of, of, of poetry uh, I, I have wrote, I mean, there are a few themes that I, I actually have. Uh, I mean, I write based all the way on nation building, the common uh, memories we have, yes. yeah, uh, and, and the things that we, we are uh, unintentionally demolish and, and forget. You know. mm. uh, yeah, these, these are all the, 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 the themes I'm writing for. And, and uh, actually, I'm trying to bring out there, there are a lot of, uh, especially history, I mean, uh, a lot of uh, uh, so-called pressures or important things that give way to development. Mm. And if we are doing it uh, to, without great thoughts or uh, deep thoughts, uh, I mean, though we are developing, mm. uh, we may be actually uh, demolishing a lot of uh, mm. very important and precious uh, history of our, our nation. Unintentionally, and, and those those ones are being demolished. I mean, you, you cannot replicate another one. I mean, it, it, it won't be the same anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two threads um, where we left off just now. Okay. Uh, one of it being the themes of the writing, mm -hmm. at least those I, I can read. Mm -hmm. And second one, I think I want to explore okay. first, which is um, the, the nature of the Chinese literary community, mm -hmm. because we're just talking about it. Uh, okay, yeah. I wonder <laughs> whether you can say a bit more um, uh, considering that considering that not a lot of us know this okay. community yeah. well. Okay, the, the Chinese writing community, if you ask me, is, uh, is actually aging la, if at this stage of time. We, we see a lot of, the, of uh, I mean, we, we do, I mean, as a Singapore Writers Association, we do have a lot of, uh, at least twice a year, we organize activities, uh, I mean, uh, to, to get all the writers together. And uh, if you look across, uh, mostly uh, the 50 overs, I mean, uh, the age, uh, more than 50 uh, for, for most of the writers, the main bulk of them. And uh, those that is 40, 40 plus or, or below 40 uh, are, are the minority. So if you look at it, they, 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 we, we have an aging writers group. Uh, and uh, of course, that may not represent the, the a clear picture of the, the writers itself because I understand uh, younger writers have different uh, concerns, concerns and, and a lot of them now they don't join groups and uh, activities. They like to operate very independently. Right. They are writing on their own. So they may not join society, join activities like this. But uh, from what I understand, the groups are not big. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, in I mean, I can understand uh, because look, look at the past 20 years, the, I mean, Chinese is not uh, being so-called, uh, it's is a less uh, uh, language, I mean, how to put it this way, less used, less used language, la, less emphasized language. La. So, so 
that's why they, they naturally the the number of uh, talents that that's been that able to come out from it will, will be will be less mm. So if you look at the Chinese scene right now, the the writers are, are aging. Mm. The younger writers we still have. I I don't say we, we are stopping. Every era that there yeah, are new, few, there are a few that comes out. Is mm. whether are they uh, two concerns that do they have a, the bulk? Is it big enough to create mm. something different? And uh, among them are they. Uh, better and more talented writers that, that actually can, can write something different. So uh, I thought we still have that talent. How, how, how do you find the writing changing mm -hmm. through the years? Oh, definitely change. I mean, the, the, the earlier batch or the so-called the aging batch, uh, they, they are more uh, concerned about because they, they go through the, uh, you know, the immigrants from China, uh, from over China, right. then right. later the, the, the World War II mm -hmm. issues, uh, the, the, the concern mm -hmm. with uh, now all these, the younger writers are not have not been also through. Also, the Chinese schools issues. Yeah, Chinese schools issue, the communist yes. issues. Mm. The, all these are they, they are mo that this will affect their writing and the right. content they write. Mm. They're mostly concerned about that. Some of them even have their passion with the connected with China, but getting less uh, because now now they are, they are, the roots should be turning mm. into Singapore. Right. The younger one, they don't have the this kind of uh, uh, memories with them, right. so they are more. Uh, so the the creativeness they are much more they are much more open. Mm. Okay, they write a lot of uh, personal uh, personal things. Yeah, but uh, but if you if you look at the oldest writer, you can see a lot of uh, patriotism in their writing. Right. Yes. The younger one, they seems not. I don't say they are not patriotic, but it's not a main concern in their writing. Mm. They, they don't really write in concerns about the the country, the nation. Mm. This is not their main theme. It's about self expression. Right. It's about uh, Rights, you know, the, the rights they have, the, right. the, the freedom they, they want. How about social justice? Are these issues that Yeah, yeah that, these are also issues the, the younger writers. Mm. They are more uh, critics, how is it? They are more uh, open mm. to speak up. Any things that they feel is, uh, is unfair, not right, right you know, uh, whatever, they, they, are, they are willing to speak up, they are willing to write. Put that in, in, into words. You know, that, that's the younger ge ge generation. How, how do you situate yourself? Where are you? Uh, that's I'm the. Uh, I thought I'm. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm. I'm the the bridge. I'm in between the the older, the older writers generation. and the younger generation. That, so that's you can see both. Sides. I can see both sides. I, I can appreciate both sides. In fact, do I, you, do you also write in a way that uh, reflects both sides. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I, there are certain issues that I topics that I write. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the younger generation won't touch on. I mean, uh, a lot of talk about a lot of preservation of, of our of our communities and, and mm -hmm. the buildings, all that. I mean, th this may not be something what the younger generation would like. But in terms of uh, trying out new stuff, I'm very open to it. You know, I'm not restricting myself to uh, to those uh, very uh, uh, contemporary stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking at the poems here uh, mm -hmm. that were translated and was thinking that you're, you're quite right to say that you sit between these two ages mm -hmm. um, because um, even though when you're dealing with issues like nationhood um, you are also quite careful to say that there is no uh, dominant is uh, history that history is a fiction it's a story also mm -hmm. right so when you talk about nation i notice you always deal with it as not a fact but as a fact that is created mm -hmm. uh, as fiction uh, so uh, there's something there that is quite uh, uh, contemporary, mm -hmm. uh, also quite um, uh, radical because you <laughs> want to challenge the yeah, dominant correct. story that Singapore has about itself, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what are your own thoughts about these issues? Uh, uh, do they really bother you? You feel that people are forgetting uh, that history is constructed? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it does. It's part of my, my concern. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, for for me, younger generation may not cares about history. Yes, that's right. Yeah, they they, they it, it's, it's something is behind them la. Right, right. Uh huh. It's not relevant. It's not relevant. I mean, they, they always look forward. You know? yes. But but what I thought, I mean, at, at my time or rather, mm. well, I, I thought, I mean, history is 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 something that uh you can't change. Mm. You know, once one is there, it, 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 it will be there. Mm. But it. it it does has a bearing on on your future. I mean, what what what's in the past molds the future. That that's what I always thought. Or even current the, the current situation is the history of the future. 
So some, it, it's, it's always important that they, you understand it. It, it, it. it may not or it should not be a, a, a burden to you, or you should carry, but it, it's something that you learn from it mm. and it's something that you, you should respect. Right. Yeah. But earlier also you say that literature is something that can't change the world, mm. but yet now you seem to be suggesting that it leaves the possibility of changing the world mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I mean that can't change the world, like it, it's not a, uh, it's not something that, let me you can throw in money, you can construct the road, construct an MRT station, it, it can change instantly, immediately. immediately. You can see all this, okay? Literature, you, you cannot expect you, you you give them literature and and, and you right. see something immediately, immediately tangible, you no, know, and it's clear you, you won't. But right. what I mean, it, it changes subtly is is the way of your your thoughts. Mm. Uh, your perspective over certain things, mm. um, that in a way it changed, it, it changed in a very subtle form, in but a very invisible way. Yeah, in invisible. That, that that's a high view literature. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder whether then, uh, uh, what your thoughts about the relationship between literature and life is? Mm -hmm. um, does it give you a different place to look at life? Mm -hmm. uh, does it make your life better? Uh, does it enrich your life? Uh, some people, you know, they are happy until they read books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, com the Chinese have saying the. Oh, in fact, it's Confucius that said, "San ru bu du shu mian mu ke zheng." Uh -huh. That means if you don't read a book, uh, within three days, you no, know, you feel that you are actually very empty or, or you you you're not worthy at all. You see, but literature, I, I, in a way, you know, if I don't read a book for too long a time, I feel very. Are unsecure. I feel very empty. You know, uh, when whenever I'm closer to literature, I, I always feel that I'm a better person. Right. Yeah, it, it, it does have this amazing force in it. When you're reading a good book, uh, it, you feel that uh, life has meaning. Mm. You know, and and you feel that it makes you believe in people as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it, it really changed the the. Uh, is, I don't know how to explain what, what literature can, can bring to you, but uh, it, it brings you back to what, what living should be. Mm. Because life shouldn't be just like uh, you know, trying to, to, to earn money, trying to establish yourself, trying to... It's just not about that. You see, it, it, it makes you, life should be making you feel worthy of living, mm. worthy of uh, staying alive, worthy of... of finding your place I in the mm. society and that's what a literature can bring mm. to you. you. You really, after reading a good book, I mean, that, that kind of feeling is totally different. You, f you feel that kind of uh, satisfaction from, from the bottom of your heart. Yeah, that satisfaction is different from uh, earning big bucks. Mm. It's another kind of satisfaction. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. And how has your own readers respond to you? Mm -hmm. uh, have they also said some of these things that you... Oh, okay. That you <laughs> I mean that is uh, the greatest encouragement uh, yeah. any mm. writers can have. Mm. In fact, you don't. Have, as long as you tell me you read my books and you read it from the first page until the last page, oh, I'll be the happiest person mm. to to hear that. I mean, I mean to to a writers, uh, anyone that appreciate your writings, uh, I mean you, you it gives you more encouragement to to move on and and, and tell yourself. I mean you should be doing it, mm. and and of course I, I there are some. Uh, readers that is kind enough to tell me their their feedbacks and, and I I do appreciate that. I mean, uh, I mean there are, there are some they I mean I I, sh I I shouldn't be saying what 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 they they have said to me, but I I do receive some encouragement from them telling me that they uh, they they like the work. I mean, or there's certain passage where they in particular they they really appreciate and that that gives me. Uh, enough encouragement to move on. <laughs> Do you think things will change if, let's say, um, uh, Singapore writing in ink? Okay. okay. Uh, do, you, do you think anything will change if um, Singapore writing in Chinese is studied in a school? Mm -hmm. um, if, let's say, in schools um, uh, it is taken up as textbook, uh, let's say your book, mm -hmm. um, or, or um, is there any other way that um, the school education can change um, its curriculum? Okay. Oh, oh de definitely. I think they are trying. Yeah. They they have tried. Uh, uh, whether how much proportion of it uh, that that 
still leaves to be to be uh, decided. Uh, I mean, but I, I I thought they are trying, but of course they they cannot have uh, the main bulk of the content or local writers. Right. Uh, in fact, I I do have some children poetry. Uh, they was taken up by the the MOE for the the, the primary school text, and and in fact, uh, NUS the Chinese Society they have. Uh, one of my essays as part of their, reading. their, their readings. I, that I, I feel great. I mean, it's definitely an uh, encouragement to you that people are, are studying your, right. your work. And, and definitely, as you have said, that it, it really helps. You, know, you have to, uh, or rather, you have to introduce, not really you have to. Like, it, it will be good that you make an effort to introduce writers the s local writers to the to the people. Mm. My my question is really more uh, uh, to find out from you what you feel writing, if uh, literature at least, if brought to the school, can change uh, the relationship between uh, writing and nation. Uh, whether you feel that in Singapore we are a bit too far away from, uh, uh, at least as a country, to be able to appreciate. Uh, uh, language and so if it's brought to the schools and all um, whether it can actually help them appreciate not just literature but also being a Singaporean mm -hmm. because I feel I think uh, I, I'm not sure about uh, uh, in Chinese but in the English community at least there's always this problem where the idea is that the concept is that Singapore writers are boring mm -hmm. you know, because they always talk about issues they always mm -hmm. talk about very uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, and, and but for you, you suggest you're suggesting that uh, for uh, for Chinese writers, the main focus may be more on the craft of writing. Uh, subject matter is important, but the craft is also central. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely it will be good for the the to to, to be brought Singapore writers, local writers, mm -hmm. I mean to 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 be uh, to to bring them closer. Mm -hmm. I mean, literature is part of life. Mm. I mean, I, I, if it's actually the, I mean, not linked to mm. to link life. I mean, there are there are. I was. Uh, I'm open. I mean, there are a lot of people write different topics, different ways of writing, and especially poetry. You know, some poetry can be totally, uh, very difficult to to grasp so or cannot understand. <laughs> Not even twenty percent of of that. There there may be some kind of uh, literature. I mean, but, but I hope there is. Uh, but I thought that there is always a place for literature in, in the society, and, and people should should uh, should know to should, should make clear to understand and how how the lives uh, writers what what they are writing about. And, and we should let them stay closer to to the local. Let, let me ask uh, whether for you, writing poetry is different from writing essays yes. and in what ways are they different mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. uh, as a writer? Okay. Do uh, you find different sources of inspiration? Yeah, yeah d d different. I mean for poetry, uh, a lot of, uh, of you can keep it uh, subtle, mm. certain things you you have you may not go very deep into it. You you can just uh, it's up to the uh, uh, so called uh, the readers to to read to get deeper from it from from the words you have. They have to poetry a lot deals with imagination. You have to be able to imagine from from there. It inspire your imagination from from the words you have. Okay, so I I talk poetry. In a way, with uh, being so stingy on the words, you you need to be stingy on the words you have when you're writing poetry. So so when you're writing, to me, every words count. Every words I have to go through and think: is that a better word to replace right. that? that? That's that's what happened when I write poetry. Mm -hmm. So if you see a, a short, you no know, maybe twenty or thirty lines of poetry, but actually every line, the the writers actually spend a lot of time trying to. To select the best words right. for for that, right. okay. And, and so, when as readers you, you read, you know, normally they they may not they may not tell the whole story in the right. poetry because of the limitation of the, the the words you have. But using very limited words, 
to write a very, maybe a complete uh, uh, story. So you have to use a lot of uh, imagination. Right. Yeah, that, that is uh, poetry we have. But for essay, I mean, you have the luxury of uh, all the, the world you have to, to write whatever. Uh, uh, and, and I thought, uh, so it's the two, two different forms of writing. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 if you, every word you have, in, in, but it, it gives me, when after I, I wrote uh, uh, poetry, after, after being closer with poetry, mm -hmm. Then when I go back to essay, actually it, it, it does, it helps. It, it helps, it influence my writing. Mm. So in, in terms of selection of words, I, I'm more uh, uh, precise. precise there. Mm. Yeah. The, the, and, it, and some of the words that usually happens in, in poetry, I bring into essays also. Right. So and, I and, and you mentioned that your forte is really essays. Yeah, that, that's what I thought to myself. What, what are the range of topics you write on in, mm -hmm. in your essay form? Uh, okay, to me, I, I, I don't write very big topics. You know. I, I like to use my own personal experience right. because uh, that's what I, I thought only... Y you have to believe in it. You have to go uh, the best that you have experienced and using your personal experience and you try to tell a story, try to, to, to illustrate on certain, certain things. So w when I write my uh, essays or that, I, I, I use a lot of personal experience that I have, things that I'm familiar with, okay? Things like uh, maybe the, uh, uh, friendship, uh, uh, family, bonding, mm. and things like that. A, a lot of personal issues when I write on, on essays. Mm. Um, for your, I mean, for essay, I assume you mean Sanwen, right? Sanwen, yes, right. correct. Um, in that sense, in what way do you find that uh, as a genre um, mm -hmm. different from, uh, let's say, the English kind of essay? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I'm just curious because I think uh, some people who watch this <laughs> may, may know uh, very little about the distinction between uh, the Chinese kind of essay from uh, other kinds of essays. Mm -hmm. um, it's reflection about life. Yes. Also from a personal perspective. But from a personal perspective. Okay. How to write a good piece mm. depends on how good the writer is. Right. I mean, I, I wrote a piece where I go to uh, my personal experience mm. to uh, to Cambodia. Mm. Okay. I, I just, example is easier right. to no, illustrate. Good, okay. To, to, to Cambodia. It's just a simple story. I, uh, I was uh, going to Cambodia. Uh, Siam Reap. Is it the place it's called? Siam Reap. Siam Reap. Yeah, uh, then uh, I, I mean, there's an experience there. Mm -hmm. Then I was I got opportunity to visit a Chinese uh, local Chinese school in Cambodia. Right. Okay, so I I have seen how difficult it is. Mm. It, in Singapore, at least the government is supporting. I mean, uh, mm. the Chinese is at least a mother tongue mm. for certain population. Mm. But in in Cambodia, Chinese is really a, a, a minority minority mm. language. But they are still uh, very committed, the, or at least the school, the only school in Siam, the Chinese school, only Siam Reap Chinese school, is still very committed, mm -hmm. uh, working very hard, you know, trying to, to preserve the language for those who are who are love mm -hmm. to study the Chinese. So so I, I I've been through that. So uh, from this perspective, my personal experience there. So so I I, I wrote a piece of essay uh, indicating the, the account. So and, and I link it up with the. Because uh, Siam Reap is, is the place whereby you, you see all the uh, uh, Ang Ku Ang How you call that? Ang Ku Wat. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, I mean, so so I I have been through. I combine these two issues together, mm -hmm. because when when we go to Ang Ku Wat, I mean there there's a certain marvels, you know, certain amazing mm -hmm. stuff you see. The next day, next next sentence or next paragraph, oh no, I, I'm also amazed at the same time at mm. how I look at the schools, you know. Right, right. Yeah, I, I talk about the, what are the, the some of the, the walls, the painting I, I saw in Angkor Wat, mm. then I talk about, then the next sentence, I see what the, the, the graffiti I have, I see the children right, writing right, on, right. on so the, the table. So there's a connection that's uh, actually quite poetic kind of uh, connection. Yes, poetic kind of connection mm. and, and how, how they, they, they preserve yeah. themselves. Um, preserve the Chinese, preserve the, 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 the tradition. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to link these two together. Right. 
Is there yeah. anything specific you want to explore in your essay? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, do you feel like writing is just um, off the top of the head, you're just making connections, mm-hmm. or is there an end? Okay, uh, I, I, I put it this way. I, I always thought that uh, literature is, is really uh, different. It's not anything comes in words, it's a literature. It's not that you, know, you, you, you publish your, your diary and it becomes a book. It, it's, it's different. You, it has to express certain things. Mm-hmm. And the thing, two things uh, I, I stressed earlier was uh, it has to be, after reading your, your passage, you, you have to allow your, your, your readers to, to really appreciate the beauty, either the beauty in, in your creativity, mm-hmm. the form, you, you, how you, you manage the, 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 the passage, or the content itself, it really, after reading the content, it, it enlightens you on certain things. Uh, that, that, or there's certain message the uh, receiving end can, can take away from it. That, that's how I always ask myself. Or I won't write something that's pers- too personal until that actually it, it, it doesn't have any relation with the readers at all. I always write things that, no, it can be, although it's my personal experience, but this experience can be taken away by you because mm. in some part of your life, things like that. Mm. Uh, or you may not be, have, uh, or you may not, um, or a certain experience I have, okay, mm. which you, after reading your experience, you, you can gain something from it. You may not have to go through the painful uh, journey that I go through, but this painful journey, the lesson I learned from this painful journey can be taken away by you mm. uh, while reading my article rather than going through the same painful mm. uh, experience that I have. La. I mean, always think that, I always thought, stand, f- I always reflect back from the reader's perspective, mm. what are they able to take away from my passage? You, you answer the question I was going to ask next. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I think as a final question, mm-hmm. uh, um, I want to ask uh, just in abstract, if there is something as a writer you hope can change in S- Singapore mm-hmm. or in the world, uh, what would it be? Mm-hmm. Wow. Or if it's something that you feel your writing mm-hmm. can change, what would it be? Okay, uh, yeah, okay. I'll talk about Chinese, I try. <laughs> because this 太太难了，我得用华语才来表达，要不然我我我没有办法很准确的表达我要讲的东西。尤其是呃，我觉得人民的素养是很重要的。一个国家的素养，一个人民的素养，素质有多高，不是看他的收入总平均，就不是国民收
，我觉得我们可能是比比上不足，比下有余了。呃，应该说啊、呃，就是比起那种高素养的，我觉得我们还差了一大截。当然，我们比起一些可能比较还没有呃比较相对落后一点的，我们可能已经已经超越了这些人。而是我们如果要比较，我们当然不跟低水平的比较，我们应该。有更高的要求，对国家的素素养，因为以我们这样子的发达程度，以这样的这个环境的这个呃高度发展的这个程度，我觉得我们素养应该要跟得上去，而能够改变人民素养，或者能够呃呃真的是从从内化、从内部去去提高的，只有文学，我觉得文学是最大的，你那种你其他的叫不来的，你不可以从从立法啦。从什么罚款啊，从文宣传啊，这些用法律这种这种办不到的，这些办你办不到，你就算用宣传粘很多海报也是没有用的，叫人家让让位置有礼貌，不要大声讲话也没有用的，只有文学才能够能够达到这样的一个啊相对很无形的效果。所以，如果你你这个问题，我觉得我我能够说的就是用文学来改提升。整体人民的素质。我觉得这个问题你答的最好，<笑>因为我是用华语来回答的。啊<笑>、uh, ，Thank you，OK，、okay, okay, okay, no problem。